I want to give a warm Winnipeg a welcome to Rod Black. And folks, I know folks here in Winnipeg, Rod, I'm sure, I don't know if you know, but there is another Rod Black <laughs> sportscaster. Yes, I, uh, yeah, I've heard that. I've yeah, heard that. yeah, and just because, you know, he's a Winnipeg boy. So anyways, mm -hmm. no, but this is Rod Black, the country recording artist. And uh, you know what? Uh, welcome. It's great to virtually meet you, see you. Uh, great new single that's coming out. And uh, hey, everybody's got to pivot. So I guess, Rod, first of all, how have you know, how have you pivoted? How have you coped through 2020? And now here we are into a new year, pretty much looking the same as the last one. Yeah. <laughs> so how's it been? It's, it's been amazing, actually, because, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, it's uh, been a little hard, obviously, on a lot of us. But I kind of try to look at it as a bit of a blessing, too, mm -hmm. because I've got to spend time uh, with my family. Well, as much as I can, obviously, with the bubble, yeah. you've got to be very careful with that. Um, spending more time, you know, getting groceries for my mom and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, so I've got to look at the blessings. Right. And, yeah. you know, calling up friends that I haven't talked to for a while. And, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just kind of roll with the punches. Yeah. And y you yourself, I mean, no stranger to this music, country music scene. Uh, you've seen Glory Days 2 opening up for like Dirk Bentley and a lot of big names. And um, I guess that whole experience, Rod, and then now kind of going out on your own too as well. How has that kind of changed you in this whole experience of living in a pandemic? Well, I miss playing on stage. I definitely miss that. Um, but I find that, that um, this downtime has been kind of, again, a blessing with the songwriting. Mm -hmm. um, lots of songs are, you know, we're, uh, in the studio, obviously being COVID, uh, you know, uh, uh, friendly, we'll say. Um, but I kind of just, uh, you know, taking advantage of that. But yeah, I definitely miss the stage and, uh, and I can't wait to get back out there, you know, when the time is right. Yeah. And when the time is right, Rod, have you ever thought, well, you probably do, what will it look like? Like, I really can't see us all coming out to a big stadium and seeing the big country rock shows right away, so to speak. Mm. Sorry, I'm just I had to get some water <laughs> in there. Um, you know, uh, things are a little different, obviously, when it comes to that. But mm -hmm. I think it's going to be harder on the bigger bands right. um, with the stadiums and stuff, right? But, uh, you know, I've got a lot of friends in the UK and various places in Australia and all over the place. And they're kind of uh, they're kind of coping up with the uh, uh, coping with the, the situation. Well, we still want to have entertainment. So they have, you know, everybody sectioned off and stuff like that. And I think that Canada is going to follow suit on that. I do believe that mm -hmm. um, uh, the smaller shows are going to be a lot uh, more accessible, I guess, for the audience where the bigger shows, they might just have to wait a little longer. But I do believe uh, that uh, we're going to get through this and we will be stronger than ever. Might take some time, but we'll get there. <laughs> well, you know what? You're right. You know, you're definitely right. So I was going to ask you too, um, Rodeo Family, that has a background, resonates with uh, the Blacks, so to speak. And I mean, how is that all? That's, that's a, a huge effect, right? This whole pandemic on rodeos. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that was when I was younger, and uh, my dad has, you know, passed and moved on. Um, so, but I grew up with the rodeo family, so things were a lot different back then. Mm -hmm. um, now, I was actually talking to my cousins and stuff, and they're just really spending time with the horses and, and all that kind of stuff. And the farmers are just still farming, lots of farming in my family. Um, so they're kind of coping, it, uh, coping uh, with uh, that right there. But, you know, really, at the end of the day, we just have to try to stay as positive as we possibly can through this. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you know, I'm going to, I mean, we got the Cloverdale rodeo, right. And uh, I'm always a part of that and I'm really thankful for that. So I missed it last year and that was a little hard, especially because we look forward to events like that. Right. Oh, yeah. So I can't imagine what it's like for the circuit. I've got friends down in Texas and various, uh, you know, um, with the bull riding circuit and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's a little different, right. Mm -hmm. But again, we'll get through this. Yes. Well, I mean, let's okay. Now let's switch it over to your music. Barely getting by. I mean, the title itself is uh, resonates definitely in these times. Um, I don't know whether you can answer this, but I've always thought too. I mean, music off obviously tells a story, tells a lot about the feelings that you have. You look at the turmoil that's happening down in the states right now. Um, country music is huge. 
and it's always been like music coming from the heart. Uh, what are your views, Rod, as you know yourself as a musician, people look up to you, they love your music, you know, do you kind of, uh, you know, think a little bit more about the topics and the words that you use in your songs? Yeah, that's a really good question, actually. Um, you know, depending on the song, a song like, you know, to, to segue to Barely Getting By, um, you know, when we were writing that song, we didn't, this was before uh, COVID. Um, wow. We were on our getting ready to go on, on, on the radio tour for the last single. And so this kind of caught us all off guard. So it's really ironic that a song like this would be recorded in the studio, written and recorded, um, that would have almost a, a relatable factor, mm -hmm. I guess. Right. Um, but you know what? We're all struggling in life in general. Right. That's, you know, nothing is meant to be perfect. I think that word should be just right out of the dictionary. Um, <laughs> but the bottom line is that, uh, you know, um, with what we're going through right now, um, I think that uh, people are going to be able to relate to the song. We're hoping uh, that they get inspired by it. And, uh, you know, and it just uh, inspires us as artists and as writers as well. Because, we've got, again, we've got a little bit more time on our hands um, to write those songs. And, again, when it's from the heart, you can't go wrong. No, most definitely. And in the future now, Rod, I mean, everybody's had to pivot, people change. And especially now in the music industry, it is it is probably as competitive as it was pre-COVID. Uh, like you said, because there are now more artists, closet artists, basement artists, right, that are getting their music out there. Um, is it a constant you know, not a, I wouldn't say struggle, but is it a constant thing on your mind? What your next song is, what the sound is going to be, or do you are you an artist that stays true to his roots and saying this is what Rod Black's going to sound like? Yeah, that man, you got some great questions. I mean, it really, what it boils down to, I grew up listening to uh, country and rock and roll, mm -hmm. so that's in my blood. Um, mm -hmm. I love. I listen to everything. I even listen to classical music, oh. uh, jazz music, and I just, I just love music in general. But I know, ever since I was a little kid, I knew what I wanted to do. Um, I had the vision, um, and I've pretty much stayed with it. I mean, obviously, um, with you know, you're, you're obviously evolving mm -hmm. as a writer and as an artist, um, and you're always learning. But what it boils down to is, I just stick with what um, I believe is you know true to myself, and hopefully, again, it inspires people. And I try not to watch what's kind of going on with other people because everybody's got their own path, right? Mm -hmm. and, and this isn't just as an artist thing. I think we all have that uh, path in life. And uh, I think that a lot of people sometimes try to follow others. And I don't know if that's such a good idea because you're kind of taking away from what, you know, personally what you have as an individual. And that's what makes us all great that way, right? We're all in our own individual. Oh, so true. I mean, we've seen it happen, you know, throughout this past year and now spilling into 2021. And I, yeah, another question that I want to ask because country music is something that is so visceral or it's so in the now and, you know, something that you need to really feel and have that human connection now with, you know, the internet, YouTube, iTunes, you know, you got to, you know, it's like the, you got to be the first one to get your single out and, and whatever. Yeah. Has that changed? Uh, country music a little bit has it become or do you think it has become a little bit more pop I guess I hate to use that word um, in your in your mind well again it goes back to everybody's their own individual and especially mm -hmm. as an artist right I mean um, I've always had a bit of rock in the country mm -hmm. again that's what I grew up with um, so that's always going to be with me um, production is always evolving you know, yeah. we get ideas and stuff like that. I've got a great producer that I work with, and, and I'm really thankful for that. Um, so we're always evolving in the studio. But the, the bottom line is, like, you know, I look at some artists that might be a little bit more on the poppier scale, mm -hmm. right? But I can really appreciate what they're doing. Yeah. Um, I'd be like, wow, I, I wish I could do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we all have we all have our, our little niche, I guess you could say. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's all about now, which is really interesting. It's mm -hmm. all about just getting music out there. Yeah. Where before you would record and then you'd go on the road and, you know, and then you'd be on your bus and you'd, you know, okay, I got an idea for a song and then, but I don't have time right now because I got to get back, you know, focusing on the show. I can't get into the studio for a couple months, you know, and then on the nice idea that you had, maybe that fire's kind of fizzled out a little right <laughs> now. It's all about just putting out music because the people that are out there um, really could use that. 
yeah. encouragement of you know a nice positive energy uh, mm -hmm. hopefully again it inspires people and that's not just myself i've got a lot of friends that are doing the same thing they're yeah. just putting out music and we don't know what's around the corner and i guess that's kind of the the challenge uh, for all of us and as humans in general but also um as an artist uh we're just we just want to get it out there and uh, again see where it goes oh well 2021 is i don't know like it's already here and we're halfway through for you rod personally what's the most that you hope for uh honestly i i, I think i just wish that i think that people got to look at this as a bit of a i know it sounds strange to say this but it's got to look at this as a bit of a blessing right mm -hmm. um you know you look families out there that are you know just trying to get by and i don't mean that just because of the title of the song but i mean really um now they got time to be with their kids a little bit more you know um whereas they're always working right to, you know because everybody's got to put food on the table so um, i'm hoping that people kind of look at what we're going through right now as a bit of a blessing mm -hmm. even though it is hard don't get me wrong it, it is very very hard i'm missing time with my nieces and all that kind of stuff and can't go see friends and of course i can't go and fly down to uh you know areas that i love to to spend time in but we just have to look at this as a, a somewhat of a positive the best we can anyway we're into a new year right now and uh just you know be good to others i mean that's really you know because hey we're all going through this we're all in this together and that we i think we really need to realize that we're not all, no one's alone now no yeah. one's ever alone we're all in this wow such great words thanks so much rod so i'm gonna let you Introduce your new single that's going to be out January 22nd. And for more on all your music, I think it's rodblackcountry.rocks is the website that they can go to. Or, and uh, dot com, dot com. rodblackcountry.com. Okay. And or dot rocks, whatever works for you. <laughs> well, that's what we found. So I thought, thought that was yeah, very cool. No, you, know what, no, you can go to both. I was just okay. trying to be funny. <laughs> Believe Anyways. it or not, I've got a bit of a sense of humor. Oh, good. That's all good. Okay, so Rod, take it away. Uh, introduce your uh, lat latest single. Well, my name's Rod Black, and we have a single, or I have a single, or however you want to look at it. Uh, we've got a song, song called Barely Getting By. Hopefully it inspires you, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Bills piling up, barely making rent. Money in my pockets already been spent. Even in the tough times, we can make it all right. Don't let the world go stealing your thunder. Reading every word, ranting on the cover of the New York Times. It's enough to make you cry. Just doing what we're doing, even if we're barely getting by. And on the highway climb, it's getting better by the mile. Just the two of us together, something money just can't buy. And when the days get long, we're breathing in and keeping on. Saying, baby, we can make it even if we're barely getting by. Rich on love with nothing in the bank. Beer in the fridge, got gas in the tank. We can brave the weather, the two of us together. Just doing what we're doing, even if we're barely getting by. And on the highway climb, it's getting better by the mile. Just the two of us together, something money just can't buy. When the days get long, breathing in and keeping on. Saying, baby, we can make it even if we're barely getting by. Saying, baby, we can make it even if we're barely getting by. It's a doggy dog, a dollar for the day. Leaving the morning, getting home late. You'll be waiting up right. Pick us up some cheap wine Just doing what we're doing Even if we're barely getting by And on the highway climb It's getting better by the mile Just the two of us together Something money just can't buy And when the days get long We're breathing in and keeping
nothing on Saying, baby, we can make it even if we're barely getting by Saying, baby, we can make it even if we're barely getting by 